the curdling or uh, why that happens is when the temperatures are different. I think that's what most of you would have found, you would have all tried I'm sure, oil leaves out, all this will happen when your corn syrup, you're keeping it uh, cold or room temperature and chocolate is melted. When they both mix up, this is of a different temperature and this is of a different temperature and that's when they don't mix up. Um, now I just gave a small piece of modeling chocolate. You, it should not have lumps. If it is not, if it has lumps, to a certain point you can still save it. You can sit and sit for hours together and break all of them. But uh, if it is done well, you will not have problems with oil leaving out or these crumbs. So yeah, once you mix it, immediately I remove it. Just mix it till it's done. Don't keep mixing. And once with the double boiler still on, you will not have any problem. It just mixes and everything comes together really quickly. Transfer it to um, my kitchen's granite slab. I just transfer it, uh, put a cling wrap over it and transfer it to that and leave it for a day. It's good to you know, rest it or at least overnight. Or if, if you are in a hurry, you can keep it in the fridge, but I don't even store it in the fridge. It stays for months together for our Bangalore weather, we need not to worry at all. It just stays at room temperature. <coughs> if, if it is humid, the two is to one, say one kg of uh, uh, white chocolate, you add only 400 grams of corn syrup. So you're reducing the liquid content in it. So that way, yeah, when it is rainy, that works. So what will be the temperature of the I don't, uh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. No, the standard recipe is two parts to one. When it is humid, I reduce the corn syrup by 100 grams. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. That will reach at a That's right. Yeah. yeah. So when you're reducing, when you reduce yeah, the you reduce the timing of the microwave. I don't measure it with thermometers. So if it is 500 grams and a kg, the 500 grams go for one minute, one full minute on high power in microwave. So once I'm reducing the quantity, it's it's understood. It'll reach the temperature faster. So just keep it for. Uh, uh, they say 40 degrees, but I honestly never uh, try to see the temperatures. They both are of the, when, when you dip in your finger, you should feel they both are of the same temperatures. Like just melted, just, uh, just wa above warm, hot. That's not extreme temperatures also will lead to oil coming out and all that. Yeah, it's the same recipe, but I'm always, I just got the piece which I made recently. Now this, uh, usually most of my pieces stay for a year just like that. Yeah, with, uh, and I always work with white modeling chocolate and then paint. That's how I like it. Uh, but um, pieces where you have to just dust with gold powder, you can do it with uh, dark modeling chocolate. They're more, uh, they, it's quite stable compared. No, covering it is, yeah, I haven't done. But I have mixed one part of this with two parts of fondant where you want to take more time covering it. Uh, say uh, a face like a chota beans cake you are making. You need more time to blend in. For that, you can use one part of homemade modeling chocolate, mix it with two parts of uh, uh, fondant. So it gives you more time. Fondant will crack and dry up, right? Yeah, so that. So, you can use RKT, but I sometimes don't bother to make RKT and then it's just better to go with solid uh, modeling chocolate. Ah, uh, Rice Krispie treats. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll have to make it. In India, we are not getting. And always make it with Kellogg's Rice Krispies. They turn out well and Hebaro brand... Uh, uh, marshmallows. That combination comes up. Right? 
and after it rests for a day, you will have to, it, it is going to be quite hard. So you have to knead it. So what I did yesterday night, I just uh, removed from a big batch and made it soft. So, and uh, pretty much modeling um, uh, fondant and this are up to, I, I can say 70% uh, they are similar. But the biggest advantage of having modeling chocolate is you don't like this hand today or I didn't like the year the way it's come. I just remove it and I replace it with another. You can't do that with fondant. So that, uh, you know, liberty it gives. So that's why most of my projects I work for 25 days. I just cover it with plastic wrap. This was done, um, I took five days, I think this is a smaller one. Just cover it with plastic wrap. And it's like clay, it's, don't let it dry too much, but um, you know, you can come back and work. That way we will learn modeling also. Today the nose is like this, tomorrow you, when you come back and look at a piece the second day, it looked different. So you can remove it and change it. So that's why I love this. Um, it'll eventually, yeah, it'll eventually harden, yeah. And Bangalore weather is very good. I have no problems with uh, modeling chocolate melting down. OK, summers, you have to be a little careful with our uh, summers also are quite bad now. But uh, otherwise, it's good. How many days does it take to dry? Uh, now, this is a ma three weeks old, I think. Now it's fully dry. It will never dry like gum paste or fondant. That's not going to happen. I can remove the ear now also. I can just, so it, it is not going to dry like that. So it's always going to be soft. And kids can just eat it like, I mean, compared to fondant, they like this. And uh, cool room temperature is good. In summers, try to work at uh, 20. You need not to go for 18 degrees, 17 and all is not required at all. 20, 24 also have worked, it's all good. Now it's quite hard, I'm not, a, because it's cold here, it's, uh, so even if it is very cold, it's not good, it'll start cracking. So that temperature is uh, one main uh, thing. And uh, I'll just talk about the coloring also. If you have any doubts, you can keep asking me. Um, one way, uh, there are three ways. One is alcoholic based airbrush colors. Okay. We cannot use the, uh, the water based airbrush colors on them. They'll start beading up. It wouldn't absorb. So I think Sugarine has now, or Dinky Doodle also has. Not gel colors. Gel colors won't work. Gel colors will work when you want to color. Say, um, I shaded it. But if you want like light brown color while uh, melting the, heating the corn syrup, you can add a small drop of brown color in that. So your work is done. No, after the fondant, the work, what you have done, can you paint it? Yeah, that's what I do. All my projects are always painting okay. later. So, so that gel colors will work, right? Yeah, gel colors. Um, I always use powder colors. Gel colors work if you're trying to go with a very, um, you know, light finishes. Okay. It starts beading up. Yeah. So very like light wash if you want to give. That's uh, powder, yeah. mixed with, uh, okay. powder mixed with uh, baker spirit <coughs> or uh, cocoa butter is an other option. Powders like uh, sugar flare or sugarine, these um, edible uh, dust colors have to be mixed with uh, melted cocoa butter. Initially when I started, I was using uh, melted cocoa butter only. And then this is much easier. Um, baker sp I tried with that. Uh, the light finishes, it works too. Yeah, yeah. Not a full detail. Yeah, I've, uh, this is easier for me, so I don't uh, now experiment. Initially I was uh, painting with cocoa butter, yeah. Uh, baker spirit, yeah, 
yeah sugarin has uh, baker spirit initially before sugarin could come i think uh, four years back there was confectioners glaze of ck which i used to use but that you will have to get it to india so this is much easier it's the same product no 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 this is a uh, this is going to be a uh, heavier in weight wise you will find this a little heavier than uh, uh, fondant yeah so no 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 melting and all won't happen yeah Ninety percent, it's your fingers. With modeling chocolate, I use just one Dresden tool is enough. This is completely done with Dresden tool, and the texture is given with a fresh uh, toothbrush. So on um, a soft, uh, I mean, just applied one, you can just press it and give that uh, texturing. Texturing, it's very good. All the metallic colors work very well. Now you can see the Kempegoda there. So such modeling chocolate works. direct dust can be placed on it and the fat because this is fat based it absorbs uh, the colors well yeah no no nothing it's like solid modeling chocolate yeah yeah alcohol based yeah yeah that's where um, See, even vodka rum, they have a certain percentage of water in it. It's not hundred percent alcohol. A baker spirit is somewhere very close to being hundred percent. Not hundred percent. I don't. I'm not sure, but not very close. And that's when the colors just sit on it well. Vodka also I've tried, but that's all for light finishes. Even gel color mixed with vodka, you can do it for a very like very light finish. I think this you can still manage with just vodka. because it's it's like uh a tiny tiny uh, i think one or two grams of powder i would have used for this entire uh, thing it's anyway uh, to start with it's creamier in color and storing uh, if you want your pieces to stay for long time like you're doing some art kind of work um acrylic boxes you can just store them in a good acrylic box and they stay for a long time otherwise also for a year year and a half i have had recently all of them are you know they're falling down but uh, i usually don't have any problem see uh, when i'm adding something i just add in and blend it just blends without any seams you can't do the same thing with fondant so Yeah I tried with Evaporex also just uh, yeah uh. This has worked very well for me so But one disadvantage what you can see here is it is not 100% smooth uh you cannot smooth it even your finger um what is fingerprints that it takes those fingerprints too so towards the end once i finish what i do i dip my fingers in uh, just just normal uh, water room temperature water and run around for take for uh um, you know projects like these we don't require if you're trying to uh, do a human face you need those otherwise our eye catches those lines because we tend to see our own kind no all the time so if there is disturbance on something our eye will go first thing to that so that uh, smoothing it is uh, is a little challenge but otherwise see when you are doing this oil doesn't come out i mean of course if don't hold it in your uh, hands for a long time sometimes even i forget this is there but i'm working with this by that time this the oil would have come out so just leave it aside 
it will come back. Yeah. If while making the recipe you find uh, that oil has oozed out, you can just rest it, next day mix it. You can just make like rocks, something cake board, no? Decorate your cake board with those. Because, And I found this, uh, it's better to always work for one, two days on one piece. The next day when you come back to it, you see it differently. But uh, orders, of course, we won't have time, but still. I'm just doing this quickly, but I uh, think this one just took me an hour and half an hour to paint, so. Two hours max, or one and a half hour, yeah, that's yeah. Even this you can, uh, the blue part, uh, I had uh, gum paste in my hand, so I just rolled it and used it. But fondant is ideal. So. You want to come and see? And you can always layer it. I mean, you can keep on adding. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no need of, yeah, um, no need of reheating. I mean, you, you can maximum go up to 10, 5 seconds and then go back another five seconds. But try to break it with your own hands and uh, you know, make it smooth. That's always advisable. Just another two seconds more, oil would have come out. It is that, uh, uh, you know, it's that delicate. So next day when it becomes hard, you will have to physically do it. I mean, you can microwave, 
but initially when you are starting out it's better you can feel it every time uh, you make a recipe you can uh, know how it is no we need not to need it once uh, from those solid blocks it comes to this stage it's fine and every time you are applying you are anyway going to make it soft so that's enough yeah kneading should never be done so then the oil will come out yeah the magic with modeling chocolate is I mean, if you know it, uh, in, in case you don't know how it is made, it will all look like one piece, like how fondant is. With if you are making a face from that single piece, we pull out the nose, we try to shape the mouth and eyes and all that. Modeling chocolate also looks like that, but we are adding it in layers, so it's, it, it makes the work uh, easier that way. And all the model, uh, all the fondant tools can be used. So, nothing. Yeah, it just sticks. Yeah. Uh, this times when the recipe goes bad and it is very crumbly, and that's when you will need. Uh, but then even the seams won't get covered because um, the fat wouldn't have mixed well. Uh, with the corn syrup, the liquid part and the fat part, they wouldn't have emulsified well. So that's when you cannot see, uh, I think you can see it here. See now I just attached this limb here, it's just all smooth, I mean uh, the seams are not there. Just follow the double boiler method, I think uh, that will give you the best results. Yeah, it it will all come together, yeah, like a semi-solid. It spreads, it will spread, it will spread. I like these wooden tools, either this Dresden or all these wooden tools, I work with these and they work really well on uh, just um, it's if it's any craft store it's a clay um, modeling tool and do not use old uh, chocolate which is even closer to that six months date I've seen that it doesn't work it has to be fresh and that's when the paste comes out well I cling wrap it and then uh, use a cover like this. If you want, put it in the bag, but I mean, I use it quickly. If you're not going to use it, then you can keep it in fridge, but don't even bother. Three, four months, it just stays well. Yeah. For our weather, uh, for Bangalore weather. really can't see what I am doing, I think I have asked him to come this way. I've told him that. See, I'm adding a piece. I feel it is a little uh, shallow here, so I'm 
adding a piece here and blending it. And then with the dressed in and we can give this texture here, like the far uh, texture. You need not worry about keeping it covered all the time when you're working. It's okay, uh, an hour if it is just open also it's still fine, but try to uh, keep it covered, but even then it's fine. You can tweak the corn syrup's uh, quantity according to the weather or if you want it smooth. You are making something which is not going to stand up like this and something like a cake board or some rocks or something like that you are doing. You can increase the corn syrup, it will make it more uh, softer. Um, Yeah, I tried covering the cake and all, but this recipe doesn't work. It's most of the commercial uh, modeling chocolate uh, boxes, I think they work. I've, I've uh, tried very long back with, uh, uh, I forgot the name, uh, with Vision's uh, modeling chocolate. Um, the chocolate uh, wave uh, wrapping that can be done. I've I've done two three cakes like that, so that can be done. Uh, 
I don't measure the temperature as such, but both are at the same temperature. That's the whole idea. The chocolate has to just melt. Don't leave it for a long time on gas so that the temperature increases. When you're stirring, you can feel it. If it is melted without lumps, that's where you're stopping. That's why for a kg of uh, white chocolate, which is in the double boiler, it takes for 500 grams of corn syrup, it takes exactly one minute on high power. This is what I've been doing. So it's, it's perfect, that temperature is just the moment this melts, remove it from microwave. Even after one minute, this you're still melting. I don't open the microwave door. I just let it leave, I mean, leave it inside so the temperature is maintained. So that's, that's. Uh, any modeling chocolate uh, works. Any, uh, sorry, any uh, white chocolate works. Initially, I tried with many of them. Now, Mordé or Van Leer, it's fine. Mordé is more of the paler uh, version. So, it's easier. Others are little, have that yellow tinge to them. And also, is it white chocolate, not white compound, right? White compound. Not, I mean, I don't use Kovacha. I feel in India, Kovacha won't work because it will just melt in our uh, hands. So this, this works. Compound, compound, yeah. The cheaper, the better. It's, it's, uh, it'll have less um, the vegetable solids, whatever they use in uh, compound. The cheaper, the better. So. Liquid glucose I tried initially, but it didn't work. This, this is very stable. It's worked well. So again, I never went back to liquid glucose. Yeah. Now it's easily available. Corn syrup is also easily available, right? So yeah. See, for any head, I, I derive at that uh, geometric shape, the basic shape. And after that, there is a difference in the way you uh, model with fondant and the way you model with modeling chocolate. So basic shape, you would do the same thing with fondant too. Later on, you will not be able to add in too much without the seams being there. But at this stage, I, can add, I added these, uh, the cheeks for the bunny, I'm not sure. So all this can be added later. See, I felt it was a little um, taller for the head, so I could just remove it. I can make changes then and there. So.
How many ha of you have already tried modeling chocolate, and making it? Most of them. Okay. Oil oozing out, yeah. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. And also, I think the temperature difference, first time I tried two sterling when corn syrup and chocolate, I didn't mix it together when it was totally combined. Okay. Oozing out, okay. So, so melt the chocolate to just the right, uh, I've observed this uh, with Morde what I use, it's, it's uh, after a certain point of time you keep on giving that extra heat, keep on melting it, it again goes back, goes to the lumping stage, so that shouldn't happen, that's why you just, you'll have to be, once, I've seen once the, you know, at that stage lumps, there'll be a lot of lumps later on. It'll emulsify, but later on there'll be lots of lumps. So it's better to yeah. use it for something else. Yeah, yeah. Corn syrup also you have to warm it? Yeah, yeah, you have to warm it, yeah. Huh. It will, already, okay. Uh, yes, I'll try. Yeah, any oil based flavors you can add, you can add, yeah, yeah. I'll just uh, do it quickly and just show them a part of painting and then. I'm finishing it quickly. If you have any doubts, you can keep asking it, uh, asking what. One right way to check if your recipe has turned out well or not is if you're using water or edible, edible gum is not required, water is enough, to stick, that means it's either old or I mean, it's not very well made. I mean, it's not emulsified well. Otherwise, it should just stick to itself. So. I'll quickly make two bunny ears and I'll just show you the, the painting part of it. So. With cocoa butter, if you're trying with cocoa butter, um, have a bath of hot water and keep like a saucer where it takes in the heat and then put in your powder colors and you can uh, add your solid uh, cocoa butter, powder form or solid form, anything. But you'll have to uh, maintain the temperature, otherwise the cocoa butter, you know, it'll clog up the paint brushes once it gets cold. So that's, that's the only thing.
So just for two seconds, I need it. Every time I take a small piece and try to add, I need it for uh, two to five seconds, and that's it. Yeah, this is solid modeling chocolate what I've made, yeah. I've okay. just made it for, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just keep trying and uh, no, you can't expect such orders, but if you want to try something, you'll have to just do it uh, for practice sake. So I keep making such things and just keeping them. Pricing mainly depends on the time you've taken. For me, time is one big factor. I uh, maybe five to six hundred. Yeah, because it just took me one hour. If I'm quicker, it can I can finish it uh, faster. So. Okay. Pricing a little higher than modeling. Uh, sorry, uh, fondant. Definitely, because it's the whole process you're making, you're still not getting that commercially, right? Fondant is at least available, you add a little bit of tylos and make it, uh, I mean, model. But this you're making from, so you have to account in all those uh, factors too. So this, this is um, sugar and Cornish cream, now my hands are oily. <laughs> Okay, this one, uh, the hands will take some time. I'll just show you the this one. And this is nothing but fondant or gum paste, anything. Or you can also model with modeling chocolate itself, can be done. But uh, fondant will be easier. And edible glaze also can be used. Sugarin has edible glaze. Even that you can use to paint. But you can see the eyes are, have that wetness. So for usually eyes, the last dot of uh, that glaze gives that uh, shine. So if I would do the same paint with uh, edible glaze, this will remain shiny. It depends on what you're trying to achieve. This will hardly take uh, take any pain. Okay, I think I'll make these. With um, alcohol-based uh, airbrush colors, 
and with cocoa butter you can do many layers you can take uh, a week and keep on layering the colors and it gives a good uh, dimension so just go roughly it's very always very light washes Invest in some good brushes, they will last for a long time and uh, you know the 001s and all to paint eyes. And this evaporates quickly. So, I'm done, I'm almost done. Color, this is, um, yeah, it took me 30 minutes yesterday, that's it, yeah. Because you have to layer, if it was single color, it wouldn't take time. So there is a little bit of pink here at the no tip of the nose and uh, ears and there is black. Uh, the blue is anyway there, the fondant is pre-colored with blue but again um, I dusted it slightly. Yeah, even dry dusting can be done on a fresh uh, modeling uh, chocolate work. So if you have done, finished it today, even the dry dust will directly go and sit in. The fat uh, in it will absorb. So I will just uh, do one dry dusting of this. <coughs> See, this is just dry powder. Can just. But with dry dusting, you have to be careful because it just goes all over the place and uh, something like projects like this, it's still fine. Yeah, it's done. Take another 10-15 minutes to finish it off. So I think